If Governor Daniels gets his way next year, big changes will be coming to education in Indiana. Tonight, he looks ahead to 2011 and back at 2010 in this year-end interview from his office in Indianapolis. This state's greatest achievement this past year, something that involved your administration, was what? Leading America in private sector job growth. Every month this year, we were first or second or third. It does say something about who's your workers, about the business climate in the state, about the fact that we kept taxes down while everybody else was raising them. Does that explain it? I mean, or is there something more than the tax climate? Road building's a big part of it. Uh, having a good road infrastructure that other states are crumbling and we're on a record building boom, this is important to a lot of companies. An area where you wish you could have made more of a difference. If you had to point to one area this past year and say, we didn't get that done. Well, clearly, jobs is my also is also my biggest disappointment. That wasn't enough to be a national leader because way too many people are out of work. But um, I would say that uh, um, I'll, I'll never feel uh, satisfied. I'm sure as long as I'm in this job with the. Uh, quality of uh, uh, the education that our kids are getting. How can lawmakers create this system that you want, that Dr. Bennett wants, where teachers pay is based on merit as opposed to seniority like it is now and where teachers are evaluated in a fair way. Nobody is suggesting that you compare the test scores at a wealthier school, let's say, to a failing school. What we seek to measure is the growth, and we can now do this. Um, it takes it, it gives uh, uh, takes into account where each child started. And the question is, not where they ended, but did they or didn't they advance during the year? Did the teacher help them to advance? I don't think anybody has all the answers to this. That's why the system will be very locally driven. The idea would be that every district would um, be required to. Uh, move to a system that measures teacher performance and differentiates and rewards the best teachers better. But they should draw it up and get it approved by the department. I look forward to our having uh, maybe dozens of different approaches and over time we'll learn which one is the very most accurate and the very most fair. Can you understand why some people think you're putting too much of the onus on the teachers here. I think the biggest factor in whether a kid's going to learn is what kind of a home he comes from. Does he come from a home that's stable? Um, you know, where both parents are, or at least one of the parents is gamefully employed, where that love of education and learning is fostered. And that is something that, as a conservative, I'd guess you would say government cannot, government can't ever do anything about that. By the way, that's the reason I only support measuring growth. You don't penalize the teacher. In fact, I want to reward the teacher who has the hardest to teach kids, the kids who did come from disadvantaged backgrounds, ed educationally disadvantaged backgrounds. Um, but, you know, among those things that we can affect, teacher quality far and away is number one. The literature says 20 times more important than number two. It's more important than poverty. And it's much more important than class size, for instance. The data is very conclusive. You put a great teacher in front of a big class, they'll learn. Put a poor teacher in front of a small class, and they won't. I want this to be a very pro-teacher bill. I, it, I think it's so unfair that we don't pay the best teachers or the teachers who take on those most difficult classrooms more for what they're doing. We love teachers, and we appreciate that of those things the system can work on, they are the, they are the most important part. The governor also predicts bipartisan support for a couple other items he hopes to push through the legislature next year, reforming local government and the criminal justice system. Tomorrow night at 6, the governor talks politics. Hear his thoughts on everything from Sarah Palin to the national debt.